not discover this music. You know, just like Christopher Columbus did not discover America. America was existing, you know. But as a matter of fact, it felt on me. All of us were amazed by this and said, let's do it. Dans ces nouveaux murs, Laurie Hardy reste fidèle à ses passions. Découvrir et faire partager des choses nouvelles, inconnues. We were a bunch of guys, music lovers. We were very much into experimental stuff. Punk, jazz, experimental guitar, big band of guitar. You know, they invited Sonic Youth for the first time in France. And we were crazy about that. That we liked enormously. One day we had a party among us. And a friend of us uh, brought uh, LP. We sort of thought that we were music experts, and that was absolutely different. Wow! Mix of Fela Kuti and James Brown. Ça, c'est magnifique! And suddenly, I'm falling into a music world I had no knowledge at all. Blanc part on the map of Africa, Ethiopia. Sixty-eight, sixty-nine. It was very hot. The fashion, the look, the hairdressing. You had swinging London, but they had swinging at this. Very excitement time. Tani lili mchelo, but I'm going to go into busy na zaman asalifan alun ya manlo. Kravat sadir, ude restaurant magvat ay fakadim. Kravat tosatot bedim bilam so formal ona lo matau. Look, market And people were dancing on the streets, and the, the, the street was basically blocked. This is America. The buzz about this music had already spread enough, you know, and it has reached the ears of a big music festival. And so they asked me, oh, can you bring this guy? I said, okay, I'm ready to go. And then Francis went to Ethiopia. Dirk is coming, and I said, let's see, going down. I felt I was in a Stalin paradise, that you go to the post office, body check, you go to a hotel, body check. When this new government came into the picture, they have disbanded all the big band of Ethiopia. We went from golden age just to the darkness. So a failure, absolute failure. Great festival, summer of 86. He had to cancel everything because the military, they never let the musicians come. I understood that I could do nothing until the fall of this regime. And nobody expected this curfew would last for 17 years. Francis was spending most of his life in Ethiopia. For me, it was clear that my job would to make this music available worldwide. So here is one man who has come to Ethiopia, found this interesting, and decided to archive our collection of music. And through his archiving, all these different musicians now all of a sudden have a new career, sort of uh, arise again. He's like a father, he's a brother, he is a friend. I just uh, brought to the light the top of the iceberg, you know. It's a musical gold mine. Ethiopia is not finished yet, and still there are so many things to discover.